Hello guys and welcome back to another Disney Heroes Battle Mode video and in today's video guys I want to jump in and look at something a little bit different than normal and it is I'm going to be buying a special badge for one of my characters guys and it's exciting because of the character I'm going to be buying it for. So let me just get these raided before I forget. Because it's getting quite late into the night. Now so I can clear that and go to the next one. It's nice it's because it just allows you to rinse through these. I wonder if I can do number 10. Come on. Yes I can. There we go. That hopefully frees it up for everyone else to do easier ones now. Do I have a raid left? Uh, yeah I've got a raid left so if I get that. 17, we should be able to get that raid. Fantastic. Hit the raid there. Lovely. And then I wonder if we can do 27 just by hiring people. We might be able to here, guys, but I do only have one good character left, but let's see what happens. We've hired our people here. Let's see if they actually do anything. Then we'll get right into buying the disc, guys. Look at that, they have destroyed. Because I'm, I'm normally the person who does this really late at night, so I just pick up the ones that people have missed out on. So we'll try another one. This is important that you kind of just use all your team and go through these, because it, you know, it doesn't just benefit you, it benefits um, everyone. So I can't recommend doing this enough, guys. my daily challenge, get a bit of gold, complete my next daily challenge, and that's basically all my daily challenges completed, but that one, which I'm not going to have enough time to do, but anyway, that's not what I'm doing, guys, I'm getting distracted, right, I am going to be buying this mod right here, guys, the Zerg mod bundle, and now, I was discussing with my brother about this, and it was that you shouldn't buy this, because when you're in the contest that's coming up, you actually have the potential to get a blue disc. So this is the first time they've introduced a mod into a proper contest, because this is a proper contest for us, and we're starting to get the mod powder as well. But the thing that I like about this one, guys, is that um, that one's only HP. Now, I understand a lot of you could argue that Zerg needs HP more, but Zerg is not built to have health so why increase his health zerg is built to be hidden around the back wrecking everything so as you can see here this makes zerg's attack power insane and his skill power insane so i'm going to buy it straight away boom like that guys so you can see that i've got this and once again guys i understand that his other one and this was 800 diamonds so it's not cheap but Zerg is a character who I use for everything, literally everything, hence why he's second. And that's because obviously I haven't been working on his disc, so I can actually buy his disc here, but I'm going to wait until the event starts and then I'll spend my money on, on both of those. I'll spend a thousand coins because those are both my main badges. So you can see that I'm slowly getting this up with missions and the tokens, so I'll wait and do that tomorrow. But now I can also equip the mod onto him. There we go. And increase his skill power further. And then level that up a few times as well. So what I'm going to do now is, because I've got one for Quora as well here, which is skill power. So I'm basically prepping my main team with some badges. Hers is orange. Solly's is orange. Who else is blue? So I'm going to put that health one um, onto Stitch. I'm going to put it onto Stitch so he's got more health. Because Stitch is a pretty decent character. So having more health on Stitch seems to be a better idea in my opinion. So let's just rinse that. 43. 
it's so painful to get these drops, guys. But anyway, that kind of holds that off a stitch there, and he's on the max level as well. So you can see that my character's coming along nicely, and I'm in, I'm quite enjoying these mods because it, it is adding a quite a big portion of other things to do on them. Um, for with Moana, I really need to level up that disc because um, I don't really use. This is going to be ridiculous. This one here also grants the shield to the weakest ally that has five percent HP of the first shield. It's going to be so good, but I just need to unlock it with Mickey Mouse here. So I might as well do. Oh, but it's not really worth doing that one. But I suppose I should do that because how many of those I got? Three hundred fifty-eight of them. I might as well just run that for now, guys. I didn't realize that, but I might as well just run that one every ten hours. Um, who else am I trying to level up? So let's just look at ones that are startable. They're all level fifteen. Um, oh, I don't really know if I even want to do that. To be fair, I've maxed out Nick's the only character I've maxed out. Um, I might as well do Ralph's one. I think at the moment, if there's nothing better. Um, we haven't actually got the. 20 hour mission with Felix yet. Yeah, I'm going to start that one because I do like Felix. Um, can't even start either of um, Scar's ones, unfortunately. That's the annoying thing because you need those. And it's a shame because I really want to get Scar's badge. But getting the drop rate on these is absolutely terrible. And if we have a quick look at Scar. We can see where his friendship. Oh, I can get him to five stars. You can see this. Look at that. I need two more shards. Two. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. And I'll do it on my live stream tomorrow, guys. I'm going to wait and do that tomorrow, though, so I can complete the challenge as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the like button. Subscribe for more. Join my Discord, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.